So in my last Galaxy Note video, I called out Samsung's Note 10 series and chose the Note 9 as the better buy for consumers to get the best Note experience for their hard-earned money. But now that I've used the Note 10 Plus for two months or so at the time of this video, and prices begin to significantly drop on that Note 10 Plus, similar to what we saw in the S10 line shortly after its release, who wins this battle of the notes here in late 2019? Sit back, subscribe, and let's get started. So starting with the most important spec, and the reason this video is coming to you well after the release date and initial hype of the new Note 10 Plus, price. We are already beginning to see discounts at major retailers upwards of $300, and the second-hand market offering mint condition Note 10 Pluses for around $800. Now that price point, opposed to the $1,100 price tag from less than two months ago at the time of this video, makes this a much more viable option for it to potentially be your next smartphone. But the not-that-old one-year-and-change Note 9 coming in at $400 to $500, potentially even less depending on where you're buying it from, still provides a very premium premium smartphone experience at a fraction of the cost. But of course there are advantages in that new colorful Note 10 Plus, and I want to point out just a few things that have stood out in my experience with the 10 Plus over the 9. Now the largest difference you'll see, feel, and experience overall is the 6.8 inch display on the Note 10 Plus opposed to the Note 9's 6.4 inch display. It might not look like that much of a difference on camera, but in person the Note 10 Plus is just huge and a truly full screen experience with the exception of a peephole and it will amaze you every time you use it. There is certainly nothing poor to say at all about the Note 9's display, it's just that the Note 10 Plus display wins here. Another major difference I came to really enjoy on the Note 10 Plus is its super fast charging capabilities. On paper, it might not sound like much, 25 watt charging versus the predecessor's 15 watt charging, but almost getting 50% battery in just 20 minutes of charging with the Note 10 Plus is a huge improvement over my Note 9, getting around half of that amount in the same time frame. This takes us from getting some battery in a pinch to getting a good part of a day's charge in a pinch. And in terms of battery drain, the Note 10 Plus is gonna keep you going even longer than the Note 9, despite it just having a only slightly larger battery of 4300 milliamps opposed to the 4000 on the Note 9. Now that extra battery comes at a cost, so Samsung says, resulting in the removal of the beloved headphone jack. I initially knocked the Note 10 pretty heavily for this, but Samsung does provide a nice pair of USB Type-C earbuds in the box, which is more than some companies can say, OnePlus. And I've enjoyed the experience from the earbuds, providing somewhat similar sound quality as my Galaxy Buds. This offering should come standard with any device during this time of dropping the headphone jack in my opinion, but smartphone companies want to draw you towards their wireless wireless earbud options more than anything else. Now another area where the Note 10 Plus excels is in the camera department, now offering a wide angle lens and some additional bokeh capabilities. When using my Note 9 for the last year, I would find myself still reaching for other devices for the best point and shoot camera experience, but the Note 10 Plus has reached and achieved that point and shoot standard for me, and I'm rarely disappointed with the results. If cameras are any bit of a priority to you, the Note 10 Plus will have you covered. Another distinguishable difference between the Note 10 Plus and Note 9 that I found was in the speakers. At max volume, the Note 10 Plus is pushing out far more noise, so much to the point that you'll feel your phone vibrating to push out that increased sound. Now honestly, that's it for me in terms of improvements of this Note 10 Plus over the predecessing Note 9. I understand there will be viewers that point out 855 Snapdragon processor over 845. 12 gigabytes of RAM opposed to 6 gigabytes of RAM, increased S Pen functionality, in-display fingerprint reader, reverse wireless charging, come on Shane! But these additions are not things you're going to notice in the day-to-day -day usage and are not reasons worthy of upgrading in my opinion. For today's standards of daily smartphone usage, 12 gigabytes of RAM is certainly not needed, the Snapdragon 845 is still going to provide a premium smartphone experience, the most beneficial features of the S Pen are still present on the Note 9, and the reverse First, wireless charging does more harm than good, in my opinion, as the battery consumption required to make the reverse wireless charging take place are too high, sapping around 20% of your Note's battery every hour, and that's not including the amount of battery being taken from the device being wirelessly charged, that's just the amount used to make the reverse wireless charging happen. It's just too much of a battery drain for it to be actually functional in day-to-day -day usage in my opinion. But overall, if the larger screen, 
faster charging speeds, improved camera system, better speakers, and a bit of future proofing is worth an extra $300 to you, then definitely go with the Note 10 Plus and I can personally assure you you won't be disappointed. But if you want what I think is still one of the best premium smartphone experiences at a fraction of the cost, the Galaxy Note 9 is still definitely a viable option and purchase approaching the end of 2019. If you currently own a Note 9, definitely hold on to that device and keep an eye out for what Samsung will be delivering next year in the next Note in line, or perhaps an improved foldable device with S Pen functionalities. We'll see. But what's your choice between the Note 9 and the Note 10 Plus? Let me know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, then be sure to give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing to the Shane Simons YouTube channel today. I hope to see you around for the next video. Thanks for watching. Take care.